Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a get ready with me using some popular and not so popular makeup. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I've got some products here and I just wanted to get in here and put on some makeup and talk about these products. For the most part of it, I like everything that I've tried. Probably the most disappointing item was these dollar store eyelashes. I have them on now. I think that they are pretty. The only thing that I don't like is that up close they do look a little bit uh, plasticky. And as far as the unpopular item that I have, <laughs> and you all probably already know this by the thumbnail, is the Vegan KVD Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. And this little baby is getting or has got a bad rap on the YT. Here are the shadows. It's on sale, plus I get like points off from my Sephora credit card. I also have the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. This is great if you have dry skin. Um, you can build it up, but the maximum that you can probably get it up to is about medium coverage. And even with one layer, although I did add two layers to achieve this look, you are going to need it need to set it because it's very hydrating uh, speaking of hydration I have the Tarte C hydro uh, concealer this is not a full coverage concealer it is very hydrating if you have dry under eyes you will absolutely love this um, plus I think the packaging is so cute isn't this is just so adorable so another cute packaging product that I picked up is this rare beauty blush I have it on now now, as you can see, I totally went ham, but that's okay. We, we can do ham, right? Um, this is such a pretty shade. I got the deeper shade. This is it. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. So this is probably one of the popular things in my bunch, as well as this L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Powder Foundation. This, in my opinion, is one of the popular items. My girl Courtney did a dupe video on this foundation. She um, compared the um, the new Fenty foundation with this one. You all just go go check out her video. Um, really good video. If you don't want to spend that big price on the Fenty powder. Powder, you might want to check this out so go check out my girls video on that um, I also got this Jaloop brow pencil I love it because you get a pencil plus a brow gel plus a spoolie and love this and this makeup obsessions mega destiny highlighter i really like the highlighter i just wish i'd have got it in a deeper shade i feel as though this, this shade is just a little bit um i don't want to say too light i would have liked the uh, shade to be a little bit deeper and i think that's pretty much it so with all of that being said if you're still interested let's get into the look all right so i'm gonna start off with a eyebrow pencil which is new to me and this is by jaloop and this is the brow pencil and tinted fiber gel and the pencil looks like this so basically you got your your pencil right here and you unscrew it you have your gel right there and then you have your spoolie right here i'm just gonna go ahead and brush my brows up comb them up and then lightly fill them in with this brow pencil and it seems to be gliding on really well no tugging or anything like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the tinted gel. And my eyebrows hair, my eyebrow hairs are pretty thin. So I'm just going to lightly go over them. And I kind of like it, it seems nice. Uh, what I think what I like most about the gel is that it's not, some gels that I've tried when I apply it to my eyebrow hairs, you know, the, a lot of it sticks to my skin and that could just be operator error. All right, so now I'm gonna quickly sculpt out my brows and I will be right back. All right, so got the eyes done and now we're gonna go into the eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the Vegan KVD Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I saw this palette in Sephora and I swatched it and I thought, well, I got the representative to swatch it for me and 
I really liked it. Um, from my understanding, not a lot of people on the YT like this palette or like the shadows, but I personally like them. Just in case you haven't seen it, it looks like this. You got the names on the back. And this palette is made from all recyclable material, which is awesome. And what you can do is there's a little groove right here where you can actually, let me see if I can get it out without messing up my palette. Okay, I don't wanna rip it, but you can lift this out when you get ready to actually recycle the palette. But anyway, these are the shadows right here. They are so pretty. This palette does not have a mirror. Here are a few of them swatched for you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, and I have a Morphe E30 eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna start off with this deepest shade right here. And I did not set my base. I didn't set the concealer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right here in my outer V. And I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit, maybe about a little bit more than halfway. And I'm gonna bring it down right here on my lid. All right, so now that I have that applied, I'm going to use this shade next. And I'm gonna apply that right up above the shade that I put in my crease. And I'm gonna actually bring it all the way down like this. And I really do like the color story of this palette. The only oddball is this cool tone shade right here. And I'm definitely not gonna use that one in this look, but I'm probably gonna use this lighter shade uh, for a brow bone highlight. So I'm just gonna go and try to buff that line out. All right, so I have that applied, but I forgot to tell you that this is a Real Techniques 302 crease brush. And now I just have a generic Wet n Wild, kind of like a shader brush, and I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade right here. And I'm gonna use that as a brow bone highlight, and I'm just gonna press it into place right here. And then after I have it pressed into place, I'm gonna go back in with my Real Techniques brush and buff that out. All right, and now that I have that applied, okay, I'm gonna use this shade right here. And for this shade, I'm gonna use a BH Cosmetics brush. This is like a flat shader brush. The name has faded off of it. So I'm gonna try to use this first without wetting it and see what happens. And I'm just going to apply this on my lid, just like this. And it's such a pretty shade and it doesn't even look like it needs to be wet. So I'm not gonna wet my brush. And then for the middle part right here, I think I'm gonna be a little bit different and use this purple. And I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm not gonna wet it just to see how it applies without wetting the brush. And I'm gonna bring it all the way out to the edge. And I'm not even sure if that's showing up on camera, but I think it's super pretty. And I think this purple is so pretty. So pretty, especially this purple and gold. These are Grambling. Uh, university's colors purple and gold and um, the fraternity Omegas 
If I'm not mistaken, gold and purple are their colors. You all who just graduated college, help me out with the names. But I think I got that right. All right, so um, for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna keep with the same shadows at the top. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this shade on my lower lash line. And then after I get my complexion on, I'm going to add the gold. I'm gonna bring that down below, but I'm gonna wait to after I get my complexion all done. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on some liner and some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so got the lashes on and these are some lashes from the dollar store, y'all. These are by Ioni. Ioni, I know I'm butchering the name, but here, oh. Here's a package right here. I think they look decent for a dollar, for a dollar. Nice, the only thing is up close. I don't know if this is picking up on camera, but it does have that plastic look. Um, but outside of that, I think they're cute. If you're into these kind of lashes. So anyway, let's take a look at this foundation. I have been wanting to try the new Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation, and this is a long, war, uh, long wear foundation. It says anti-pollution, and yeah, here it is right here. Here it is right here. And the shade that I have it in, I was matched <laughs> to 35N. So let's go ahead and put this baby to the test, and I'm going to apply it with my Golden Tools, uh, Delium Tools, the 968 Phase 2 brush. See right there, and it has a pump. This is a glass bottle. This is the shade. And let's go ahead and test this baby out. See if I was matched correctly. And I'm gonna add another layer just to see if it's buildable, which is looking like it's building up to probably a medium coverage. You all know I have a dark scar right here and you can still see it. So as far as it being a match, you know, clearly it's lighter around the perimeter where I am darker. But as far as my body, I feel like it probably is matching my body. All right, now I'm going to try this Tarte C Hydro Sealer. <laughs> These names. This is in the shade 360S Medium Tan Sand. And this is what it looks like. It's cute little packaging, really cute. So you all know how I do with the highlight under my eyes. And this coverage doesn't look, doesn't look like I'm getting good coverage out of this one. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this baby out. All right, and now that I got that blended out, I'm gonna go back over my nose part with my brush that I use for my foundation. And I'm gonna go around the edges. It almost looks like I didn't apply concealer at all because I don't feel like it covered much, but 
I'm gonna keep it moving <laughs> and I'm just going to quickly add some of my CoverGirl powder under my eyes. And for my contour, I'm just gonna use this sleek and I'm going to use this shade right here that I have hit pan on. And I'm gonna blend that out with my, the brush that I use for my foundation. And then to set my face, I'm gonna use this new L'Oreal 24 Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. And the shade that I have is, what is this? 330. This is really nice. This is the packaging. This is the shade. It is just a little bit too deep. It does have a mirror and it has like a little pad just in case you don't want to use your brush. And I'm going to use my powder brush. This is the Pro Sephora brush and a lot does come out on the brush. And it does have a fragrance. And now I'm gonna try this new Rare Beauty blush. And this packaging is so cute. Look at this, it looks like a little pink egg almost. And I picked up the darkest shade. This is it, isn't that cute? So cute. All right, let me find a brush. And it's very soft and creamy. This is what it looks like on the brush. And this is just a BH Cosmetics brush. Ooh, very pigmented. <laughs> We're going to blend that out. Okay, I want to lower my nose. So it blends out really well because you saw how it applied. Ooh, that's so pretty. I really like And I almost didn't get this dark shade. All right, and then for highlighter, I'm going to try this Mega Desti Destiny Highlighter by Makeup Obsessions. This is it right here. And there it is up close. So it kind of gives off like a silvery look a little bit, but that's okay. It's still pretty. I almost feel like it's not dark enough for my skin tone, but I think it works out. And then the last step, I'm going to use this Sephora bronzer. This is it. This is kind of new. Um, I have used this on my channel before. So I'm gonna apply this. I think I'm going to like cut this, my uh, contour and my blush a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit sharper. And then for my lower lash line, I'm supposed to be coming back to that and adding in the gold and the purple. So, so, so. And for lipstick, I don't have a new lipstick, so y'all know I'm gonna pull out some kind of nude. <laughs> in my collection. Mm, this is by Stila. I think this is Briscotta or Briscotti. I think for this month, I'm gonna wear this little Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist out. yeah that's pretty much it this is the final look let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these if you plan on trying any of these or if you're on a no buy let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches